I'm on reporting from the newsroom in Athens. And there are aliens attacking! Just kidding. Since we got your attention now, we are here today to tell you about Antony and Octavius defeating Brutus and Cassius in Revenge of Caesar to take full power of Rome. A few weeks ago, the conspirators, Brutus and Cassius included, murdered Julius Caesar in his cold blood. We will take you there now. And as always, Rome were on reporting from the front lines at Philippi. Rumors have been spreading that, that Caesar's ghost has visited Brutus at the battlefield and haunted him. Sounds a bit like Halloween. Well, before that, Brutus and Cassius were debating whether or not they should have traveled to Philippi. Brutus wanted to, but Cassius didn't. But since Brutus was is the moral authority, they decided to do so, and it was a huge mistake. Home field advantage, high ground, supplies. The battle between Octavius and Antony versus Brutus and Cassius hit its peak when Cassius sent a servant to check out what was happening. Cassius sent his service ser servant, Titanus, to check what happened during the battle. And he was circled by an army, but it was unidentifiable. I believe that it is his own army. But they gave him what? A wreath? Showing victory. But we had Cassius and Mike on the sideline, and here he is. Oh nay, mine servant, Titanus had it circled my so by soldiers. Nay, thou art the foe, soldiers of Antony and Octavius. We hast lost, and I shall die. I believe that Cassius believes that they lost, not won. He's going to kill himself? What a catastrophe. Cassius has just asked his servant to kill him after the victory. Cassius' servant has killed his leader, and he has been sent free. We are going to take you over yeah, to Brutus. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Brutus, your friend Cassius has just died. What do you think about that? Did he really? Well then, well, no. let's move on. You don't care? No, he was a jerk anyway. I mean, actually, I do care. He was my best friend for the, sh well, for the short time after I killed my other best friend. So you do care? Well, I guess so. Well, how do you think his battle is going? No, it's not. It's okay. Well, my man Cassius has just lost, so now I gotta win to keep it going. Gotcha. What's your upcoming strategy? Man, it's just beat the enemy. Thanks, Brutus. Now, back to Louis Louis VIII. Hi, Anthony. How are you then? Extremely radiant today. Just glad to pick up the W. Well, what was your strategy to beat Brutus and Cassius? Very much. It was just telling my soldiers to be cunning and hazard a bit of excitement. What do you mean by fun? I told them to fight like it was their last day on Earth. Some of them. Yeah, so if you let us, we will Well, did you have any motivation towards this battle? They only thought that Caesar was a serpent's edge, and I just was one of his limbs. But now I am the head of, and all of Rome are my limbs. Who could possibly lead with you and Octavius? Possibly the Lepidus, who will bring a Trump style view to our government. Well, are you going to announce your retirement after this battle? Not yet. I have a few things to first. I'm extremely excited and proud of Octavius for winning his battle with him. Couldn't be more excited for Rome. Well, Antony, good luck in the future. You're next. Well, that's our coverage from Philippi. Be back after the commercial.